Marine returns from Afghanistan and ends up living under a bridge. That is a stain on the principles uh, that the flag for which he fought stand for. When a mother with three young children ends up living in a car instead of a home because she lost her job and she has no opportunities, that's a shame on this entire nation. When an individual struggling with substance abuse ends up losing everything that they own uh, and ending up on the streets because we have cut back on drug treatment and health care and insurance over the course of many years, then that is a shame on every level of government that has failed those individuals. And uh, my colleagues have spoken eloquently about the moral imperative that we all have in combating that. At the same time, the ramifications of those, uh, those inactions by society and by government go beyond the individuals who end up homeless. We know that that has impacts as well on the quality of life in our neighborhoods. It has impacts on public safety and public health and our business community and our ability to, um, to thrive. So all of us end up becoming affected by our failure to address the basic needs of the most vulnerable in our society. So we have a strong moral sense that time, that now is the time to act. But it's not just a moral sense, it's also a matter of dollars and cents. Right now, as budget chair, I can tell you, we are spending right now uh, nearly a hundred million dollars just in responding to homelessness. We're spending over $85 million in law enforcement response to homelessness. And this is the rough equivalent of a, a friend of mine told me the other day that his car leaked so much oil that he had to carry a case in his trunk and pull over every now and then and fill it up with oil. And I said, well, why did you just fix it? Why did you fix the problem instead of continuing to spend money on oil? That is what we're doing as a society. We're spending hundreds of millions of dollars in responding to this problem instead of spending the money that it will take to solve the problem. So today, today we're committing to rededicating some of those resources that we're spending in response and finding solutions. And I have great confidence that the members of the Homelessness and Poverty Committee, uh, as well as the other members who are here today, uh, will develop the kinds of policies, the kind of smart, forward-looking, cost-effective policies that will once and for all find solutions to this problem. And I'm looking forward to addressing the, uh, the, the resources that they need to be able to, to deal with those problems in our Budget and Finance Committee. So, Mr. President, Mayor, thank you very much for coming together and announcing with a clear, single voice that now is the time when the city is going to take this challenge seriously, we're going to address it head on, and we're going to make headway in once and for all solving the problem of homelessness in Los Angeles. Thank you very much.